turmeric. Who is it for? Who can it benefit? And who is it not for? What's the hype anyways? Those are all the things we're going to talk about today. I'm dietitian Taylor Hanna and I am on the Diet vs. Disease team. We are a global gut health specialist team with dietitians, gut directed hypnotherapists, counselors, and more. Okay, let's dive in. So turmeric, what is it? It is a bright yellow herb spice. You'll often see it in soups and curries and dishes like that. You'll also see turmeric teas and supplements popping up as well, especially since turmeric has become increasingly popular. So the benefits, it may aid in managing different inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, other autoimmune conditions potentially, metabolic symptom syndrome, as well as uh, hyperlipidemia or elevated uh, blood lipids. So those are some of the things it may help with. A lot of people will also use it for types of pain management potentially, especially if they're experiencing pain or discomfort related to inflammation. Okay, so what's in turmeric that's so great, you might ask? Curcumin is the compound in turmeric that has a lot of these health benefits that we often talk about. Curcumin in turmeric, not to be mixed up with cumin, so turmeric is what contains curcumin, is again that anti-inflammatory component. It's it, Turmeric has about 5% or made up about 5% curcumin. It is best absorbed when we combine it with pepperine, which is found in black pepper makes up about 5% of black pepper. By combining the two together, it increases the bioavailability or the absorption rate, so how well our body can absorb it, by up to 2,000%. That's significant. Okay, so we talked about who it could potentially benefit. Who should not take turmeric? Again, you always wanna double check with your doctor, but if, you ha- if you're not supposed to take blood thinners or if you have a bleeding ulcer, anything like that, we want to avoid turmeric, as well as other supplements that are blood thinners. You always want to check if you have medications or other supplements as it can interact with some of these and it can be negative. Now, the last one I mentioned from the perspective of a gut health dietitian. So although curcumin can have benefits with some digestion, it can help with both digestion in our um, stomach, but also we can see some improvements in uh, lower digestive conditions too, especially when there's some low-grade inflammation. However, It can also be a gut irritant, and with that gut irritation, we will sometimes see individuals actually have a worsening of symptoms. Now, this occurs at a certain threshold, so it's not going to happen if you have a little bit of turmeric, say, in a soup, but if you're taking it in a high dose or a supplement form, this might just trigger symptoms for you. It may not do it immediately, but it might with time. So those are all factors to take into consideration as well. Dosing is important, timing is important as well. Okay, now to the exciting part. How do we actually incorporate this into our day? Great information, but we wanna make this practical. So to incorporate this into your day, I would recommend incorporating it into say soups and stews and curries, and by adding the black pepper right into it, you're getting that nice absorption. Turmeric teas is another nice way. Uh, Some people will make turmeric tea with some turmeric, black pepper, maybe cinnamon, as well as maple syrup, hot water, maybe um, almond milk or milk in there, delicious. Again, everyone's taste preferences are different, but I do enjoy it. And then you can also look at some of the powders and supplements as well. Those are going to be a lot more concentrated version. A lot of the research that looks at that potential health benefits do look at anywhere from 500 milligrams up to three grams of turmeric. Um, And actually, I think there's a few studies are up to five grams um, as well. I typically don't recommend individuals going above three grams and I often recommend them starting with the lowest amount and then slowly increase up just to see where they actually need to take it. No use taking more than you need and more doesn't mean better. In fact, for a lot of people, more means diarrhea. Not great at all and definitely not helping you feel better. And so that is the lowdown on turmeric or should I say curcumin. Again, the benefits from it and whether or not maybe you should consider taking it and how to incorporate it into your day. Oh, I forgot one last thing. A turmeric turmeric and some smoothie recipes is also delicious. It's a little bit more savory as well as some savory oatmeals as well. Definitely things I recommend checking out if you have not. And if you have any great recipes, definitely comment below. Let me know how you incorporate turmeric and black pepper into your day. Um, as well. And if you are looking for some more resources or videos that, and you found this helpful, don't be afraid to like, share, comment um, as well. Thanks for watching.